Hey guys, happy Labor Day. We are back with another product that was sent to us for a review right here on the channel. Uh, an Amazon seller reached out to us and said, hey, we've been seeing some of your reviews that you've been doing on your channel. We'd love to send you one of our products that we have. And this is the MD10 by MRSDY. These are those paddle fin antennas that go on the back of your microphone receiver uh, to help you get a longer range of distance. So you guys remember on the channel, we did review the Phoenix Pro PTU 7000 a few months back. And this microphone system has been phenomenal. Uh, we had a hiccup when we first used it, but we just think it was just something with the venue. And ever since then, we've been using this dual microphone system and it's been great. Now set up right here is where we did that review of this system and we walked all the way down to the end of that cul-de-sac in my neighborhood and right there where that red truck is you can see it right there um, we started getting dropouts and that was about 300 and i want to say 51 or 352 feet the range on the ptu 7000 is 328 feet so that was pretty impressive um, so we're going to put these paddle antennas on and see what they do. We're going to hook the Everse 8 up right here. We're going to have a GoPro stationed right here so that I can come back and review the footage. I've got the two microphone stands that we're going to lift high and put those paddle antennas on. And on Amazon, these sell for, I want to say, $299. Uh, these work in the 450 to, or 400 to 950 megahertz range. So I'm hoping this works with the system. You know, most of these antennas you want to get with the group and the band that correspond to your microphone system. So we're going to hook them up. We're going to try it out, see what happens. Um, I'm going to Google Maps or Google Earth this thing. And once we reach a final destination all the way down there, I'm really hoping to make it all the way down to that house right there. On the, on the Phoenix Pro video, we went all the way down to that house and I lost total signal. So we're gonna see, we have one of our trucks in the way, cars in the way, um, trees, whatnot, right? So I'm gonna be walking on the other side of that white car just to see if I get interference and just objects in the ways. I mean, I don't know how much that would affect it, but we're going to see just exactly how we can do that. Yeah, so first things first, we're gonna unbox this thing, see exactly what comes in the box. Like I said, you could pick this up on Amazon and I will throw the link uh, in the description. But you can get this for $2.99, I believe it is. So we appreciate these guys reaching out to us. And wow, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is pretty impressive. So this comes in a carrying case. I didn't, I honestly didn't expect this. So check that out. I don't want to scratch up my Phoenix Pro. Um, comes in a carrying case. It looks like there is a puncture hole or a dent in it. Probably just from shipping, I'm sure. Which is right there. Regardless, that's pretty nice that they include a carrying case with it. So right off the bat, we've got the uh, user instruction manual, which is cool. And then it is nicely wrapped. I don't want that to fall back. Wow, a little brushed aluminum there. All your outputs on the back. Uh, this is nice. This is very nice. Antenna A, antenna B. So this is, this looks pretty good guys. I'm not gonna lie, there's the paddles underneath. I wanna show you what these look like. And just like the Sennheiser ones, I love that they come with these holes in there so that the wind can pass through because usually you have these up high and if the wind pushes them, they can push anything over. So this allows for the wind to um, blow through it. And right there you will see uh, operates in the 400 to 950 megahertz range. 
got your little protectors right there on your BNC and your standard microphone uh, stand connector, which is threaded with plastic. I don't really care for that. I wish they would have had the metal uh, insert. That would have been cool, but these are very light. The MD-10 right there. It feels very, very nice. This feels like a high quality uh, antenna. So what we're gonna do is let's put this down on the ground. Let's get it hooked up on the microphone stand and show you what it looks like. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and do a fresh scan on the microphone system. Even if you're at the same venue every weekend, uh, it's highly recommended that you do a fresh scan because frequencies change all the time. Interference comes into play. So on the Phoenix uh, Pro PTU 7000, we're gonna hold down the set button. It's gonna scroll through all the channels and groups and it found group four channel zero uh, 550 megahertz so what we're going to do is now turn on our transmitter we are going to hold or press the set button hold it up to the ir if i can find it and that should be good yeah four and zero so everything is matching right there it might be a little too close for you guys to see but four and zero and you can also see that the antenna indication as i speak into it even though i have the speaker off right now we're getting signal so this should be good uh, individual individual volume controls are over here on the ptu 7000 um, usually i keep that about two o'clock that's what worked for me last time so right here we've got the power distribution or the antenna distribution and we came out of the phoenix pro into the distribution and then out of antenna A all the way down. And we're only gonna utilize one paddle today, so um, we're only using one microphone. And this came set to 30 dB. I'm not sure if that's good or not. Uh, we're gonna test it out just as that. I did an initial sound check with it and it sounded good. So we're just gonna use one paddle today. We're gonna point it line of sight all the way down there. And before, the PTU 7000 came with quarter wave antennas, so they were pretty tall. And like I said, it got us about 351, 352 feet before we started hearing some chirping sounds, some dropouts. So my goal is to make it all the way down to that house where that trash can is at, that very far trash can. That's where I want to make it right back there with trees, cars, everything in the way. We're gonna see how this turns out. Um, hopefully good. Um, now, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's no way I would ever be that far from my microphone system. I'm usually 30, 40 feet at max, uh, but these look pretty sleek. I mean, you can't even see them other than the pole being there, but once you do some wire management and whatnot, we've got the Everse right there. We're gonna hook up this GoPro and it's gonna be pointed in this direction so that we can come back and review. And then this way, I'm gonna take my phone with me and according to where I start hearing dropouts is where I will mark, um, I guess my system over there, or mark my spot. But yeah, this is the four uh, transmitter system. We're only using one, so that's why we're only using one paddle today. And we're gonna see how far we can go, let's do this. All right guys, so here we are, we're in the garage. We're about to take that long walk down to the cul-de-sac. We got the GoPro recording right here. We've got that shark fin antenna and the Everse 8. We're just utilizing one antenna out of the distribution. So we're gonna take this walk. This is gonna be a long walk, it's a hot day. And we're gonna try to make it all the way down that cul-de-sac. I'm not sure if you can actually. Now, last time I was on that side of the street. I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna walk on this side of the street and we are gonna go all the way down to the very end. I wanna say 328 feet was right at this house. And I will Google map it for you guys and drop it on the screen. Now my back is turned. It's my house way down there. Can you guys still hear me? OK, 
okay, my wife's giving me the thumbs up. That's a good sign. So my back is turned, which means the transmitter is blocked. Now guys, in reality, I would never be this far uh, speaking on a microphone. Let's see if my wife can still hear me and give me a thumbs up. Wow, okay. She gave me a thumbs up, I saw it. We got little trees, we got cars, we got flag in the way. Now over here, I was definitely dropped out. And if my wife can hear me, she just gave me a thumbs up, wow. Okay, so I'm walking with my transmitter facing. Still hear me. I'm way further than I was before, guys. She can still hear me. This is amazing. She looks like a little speck from way back here. Can you still hear me? Wow, okay. I'm all the way at the end of the cul-de-sac. Can you still hear me? Yes? Is that a thumbs down or a thumbs up? Thumbs up, <laughs> okay. Wow, so I made it. I don't wanna go into my neighbor's driveway. That will look kind of freaky. I'm sure this already looks freaky enough with me carrying a, uh, a tripod with a phone on it and a microphone. They're probably thinking that, what is wrong with this guy? So yeah, that, that paddle antenna made it all the way down. And I want to say like right here, right here is where I dropped out last time, right at this house. And so you can see the distance back there, how much further I went. So that's amazing. I'm pretty sure she was giving me the thumbs up that she could hear me, which is good. Yeah, okay. I can still see her. And that's with her truck in the way, guys. And these little trees, I know they're not much, but still, I'm sweating out here. This Texas heat ain't no joke. So this is good, I mean. They work phenomenal. And that's with all these objects in the way. I mean, if I needed to get this paddle antenna up and over at a wedding, and they come in a case, so it doesn't take up much space. You can actually just bring these with you. Sorry about the wind noise. You're probably picking all that up. So those were thumbs up, right? Oh, yeah. Awesome. And here we are back again. And all I can say is it worked. So let's go review the video and put it all together and let you hear how far we went. Dude, that's amazing. I made it all the way down that cold set. It sounded good the whole time. Dude. Be able to tell. All right, guys, so my final take on the MD-10 from MRSDY. This thing works phenomenal. I made it all the way down to the cul-de-sac on my street. Well, actually, on the other side of my street. And before, there was no way. I only made it. Uh, so actually, I made it another, like, one, two, three, another four houses down, um, which is more than a football field. And... It worked perfect. I had line of sight with the antenna going that way. I had a truck in the way, trees, cars, you name it, in the way. It picked up perfectly. So I highly recommend this system here. Um, now you do have to use it, depending on, I guess, on your microphone system, you do have to use this distribution system because it does power uh, the antenna right here and it'll show you your gain. So I'm gonna drop a link where you can buy this for yourself test it at your gigs let me know how it comes out and like i said 2.99 right there on amazon thanks for watching see you on the next one all right so here's a look at the case that comes out of the box and i'm going to quickly open this up for you guys just to show you how it's packaged in here of course it was wrapped uh, i already unwrapped it but you get the controller or the distribution box right here and then underneath this you get all your BNC cables, you get your power supply, and then you got your two paddles right here, nicely protected. There's one 
one paddle right there. And then underneath that is your other paddle. So super packed, super nice for you guys. Uh, foam inserts cut exactly how they should be. And I'm digging that. Mine was damaged, obviously, in shipping just a little bit, but it's enough to get me by. I'm sure you could find uh, one of those Harbor Freight cases to put this in as well and cut your own foam, but this is very nice. Ergonomic handle with uh, this soft grip right here. Not a fan of these latches. They kind of come undone pretty easy, but um, overall just very appreciative of them sending it in a case. They could have just sent everything in a box and called it a day, but thanks so much for these guys for sending this out. Uh, to us to review.